20 years of tournament experience. Um, let's go through what I have in my gear bag today. Uh, first, we'll start out by checking out the gear bag itself. This is an HK Expand 75 liter bag. I love this bag. It's about the perfect size where you fill it up. It weighs about 50 pounds, which is the most you can have while traveling. Um, it does come with backpack straps. So you can carry it on your back, which is nice for at the events where if it's dirty on the ground, you can just like throw it on your back. You don't have to drag your bag through the dirty area. So let's dig in here real quick. Um, we'll go a little farther. We'll start with the base. So in the base of this bag, this is where I keep my shoes and cleats. Um, two different types of shoes in here. I have my off-field shoes, so at paintball tournaments it's really dirty and gross, so I like to wear these so that I don't ruin my nice shoes. And then I have my cleats, as you can see here. Um, this expand bag is really cool because the inside of this section is actually the same as the outside, so you can put dirty stuff in it and it stays clean on the inside. It also expands out so you can have a longer section in your gear bag and carry more gear. Let's keep rolling. Um, in the side pockets, I like to keep my padding. Uh, Eclipse knee pads, I like these ones because they're dense and hard. They do a good job protecting. I actually don't wear knee pads all the time, so I hide in the back a lot so I don't have to dive. Um, elbow pads, I always wear. So let's check out the next section. Eclipse elbow pads as well. Nice, hard, dense elbow pads. Nice if the ground is unforgiving. I do also keep a pair of HK Crash elbow pads as well. These are like a soft jelly style elbow pad. Um, have a bigger cuff on them as well. Boom, let's keep rolling. Die slider shorts. These are like the thickest, densest slider shorts you can still move around in. There's actually a really good job protecting. Also kind of keep your hips, hips good when you're diving and sliding all over the place. Let's open the top. Uh, here we have a control loader. This is actually my backup loader. I keep two different ones in my bag. Control loader with a speed feed. Boom. A uh, couple sets of JT Pro Flex goggles. Usually I keep one goggle with a clear lens, um, one with a dark lens. I do prefer the clear lens most of the time unless we're looking directly at the sun. Couple headbands, including Hype headbands, check them out. Uh, Ian does a great job with these ones, so they're our sponsor. And then we keep the Finlay beanie in the bag as well. Uh, Finlay is kind of my go-to brand for hats, beanies, that kind of stuff. Let's dig a little deeper, open the bag. Um, my Lux case, right? So here's my gun setup. This is gonna be a Lux TM40, uh, blue to silver fade. Use the die barrel cover with tools in it. You'll notice this little black tape. That's actually my GoPro mount, so I don't scratch my barrel. Uh, die R2 hopper um, extended with the 260 top and a speed feed and then i'm using hk80 tanks that have big long arms so start there um, when it comes to pants next we've got virtue joggers i like these because a little bit denser jogger they have zip up pockets and they have swap pockets uh, for being an affordable pant this is a great product uh, next hk blackout pants these are a lighter weight pant uh, so on hot days these are nice um, they're really easy to move around in. they do fit a little bit snugger with an athletic fit as we get a little farther, JT Team Pants, these are what we wear at tournaments. This is kind of my go-to these days. Also a lightweight jogger, really similar to the blackout pants with a little bit less reinforcement than these. Um, as we go a little farther, I keep a Thunder Practice Squad jersey in here. This is only for practicing on hot days, but this is kind of my go-to if I uh, don't want to wear the outer layer. And then we're going to have our JT Team jerseys. This is the ones we wear at events. DBS Factory jersey. Boom. Empire Pod Pack 4 plus 7. I do need to be able to carry at least nine pods, so it's about the smallest pod pack I'll be able to use. Um, and I always use strapped pod packs. I'm not a big fan of strapless ones. I lose a few too many pods and I need all the paintballs I can get. Boom. Let's dig into some of the nuance here. This is some of the fun stuff. Um, so here we have a pair of Gorilla Gloves. I don't really wear gloves when I play, but these are nice to have for cold days. I have the replacement lid for my R2 so I can go back and get away from a speed that's pouring down rain. A uh, couple extra barrel covers just in case my guys are missing the mark. Um, this is a black diamond headlamp at national tournaments. We always seem to play super early in the morning. So you got to get there before the sun comes up and then you play right as it starts. So having a headlamp super nice in that setting. Also going to have a toothbrush to clean my gear when I need to. This is a reg extender. So if I ever need a different tank, I can throw the extender on to get the right length for my long arms. Uh, this is going to be my GoPro mount. I use this thing all the time to get good footage. Um, in the top section here in my bag, you'll notice that uh, we have a few different swabs. These are actually visors as well for my goggles playing on those sunny or rainy days, that's nice to have. And then this bag does also have a compartment for your gun, barrel kit, and then some other extras in it. So that's pretty much all that's in my gear bag. Uh, come into the shop, check out all this stuff, and let me know if you have any questions.